standing on different votes and, and the different issues that he supported. And, and we said, you know what, he's a nice guy, but he's not voting the way that our district feels. He's not voting the way that our district would vote if they were given the choice. And, and we basically boiled it down to three issues. We felt that people in our district were not getting the voice that, that they needed at the state legislature. We were also concerned about the accountability in the state government right now. Um, you'll see, for example, just recently they just passed the Bonnie bill. No discussion on the bill at all. They just passed it right, right through, sent it off to the governor. That shouldn't happen. We elect our representatives to actually debate these issues to talk about the issues and find the best solution. When we have the DFL controlling the legislature and they do things like that, it's because they don't want the people's voice to be heard. They want their agenda passed without hearing your voice. So we felt that was an important issue. And finally, we, we felt that Minnesota as a whole, we're, we're selling, we're, we're promoting an agenda that will, that will actually cause us to, um, to chase businesses away from Minnesota. A lot of you have heard the, the South Dakota advertisements. Come to South Dakota, our, um, our, our business climate is better, our taxes are lower, and so forth. Well, that's a real issue, and that's, that's an issue. It's a slow bleed issue. Over time, businesses will move to South Dakota unless we get our tax situation in order, and unless we get regulation situations in order. We felt these were some of the key issues. Besides that, we, we also have this Republican platform here. We have. Um, if, you, if you guys look at this, there's, I'm a Republican because section in there, and, and look at that. Those are the things that we stand for, and those are the things that are not being fought for right now in the state legislature. Um, after that, my wife and I took a look at the numbers, and we, we, we looked where people vote in our district, and, and they vote for Republican candidates. They, a lot of the candidates will get 56% of the vote, and yet we're losing the House race time and time again. And what we felt was that we need to put a serious effort in, start campaigning early. We're going to start door knocking in April, and we're going to get our name out there, and we're going to win this race. And I appreciate you guys endorsing me, and I'd also appreciate you guys taking time to, to donate uh, $10, $20, $50 if you can. Um, it goes a long way. Mailings are expensive, and we need to get our name out there. Um, and then finally, we also have Marty Seifert spoke here, and we had Tom Emmer. Um, who had a representative here. They're going to have a debate on April 23rd in our district. Uh, we've been working on this. It'll be a fundraiser for my campaign. The price will be somewhere between $10 or $15. We're working on the location right now. Um, that'll partially determine the price. But uh, keep that in mind. Put that on your, your calendar, and we look forward to seeing you there, and I look forward to helping you usher in a new wave of conservatism in Minnesota this year.